Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at building a clip for this. It's the uh, uh, Apple Pencil. So just recently uh, upgraded to the iPad Pro along with an Apple Pencil. And hey, one of the things Tim Cook and uh, Johnny Ives forgot to do is add some sort of clip to this thing. So you can't stick it in your pocket on your shirt. It rolls off the table. And if Steve Jobs was still alive, he would never probably allowed this thing to be created like this. So, um, so what do we do? Well, we have 3D printers, so we make a solution for it. And to do that, what I've done is I've turned to OpenSCAD. So I've been doing a lot of stuff in OpenSCAD lately. And one of the things I'm actually even thinking about doing is, is starting um, an open SCAD channel. Uh, you know, because I know it's not everybody's taste, but uh, uh, I enjoy developing in open SCAD, and I do a lot of my stuff in open SCAD, both 2D and 3D. So, uh, something I'm thinking about. If this is something that would interest you, hit me up in the comments below. Let me know if you'd be interested in an open SCAD channel. Um, however, that aside, one of the things that I did is I went and whipped this up in open SCAD, and then on top of it what I decided to do is make it Thingiverse uh, compatible for customizer so we took this code and actually what I did is I uploaded it and if I go back here um, uploaded it to Thingiverse and as a customizer so I have the URL below so what you can do is you can just click on this open it in customizer and uh, bang you're set you can uh, decide how you want to uh, create your own custom clip. So I have some base base settings for this uh, here, and you know again, um, I find that it, that the pencil itself, is, mine anyway, is 8.8 .8 millimeters in diameter. So I've scaled this up a little bit to 8.9, and I found with PLA it works works good at this size. Um, so, but I did leave a little bit of adjustment. So depending on the type of material, you could scale up or scale down the the pencil size. Um, you know, you know, kind of adjusting the snugness of fit. So the barrel diameter is is in short this this outer outer barrel. So you can we can kick this up. We can make this really big. As you see, it's it's gotten really big. Or again, we can kick it down. Now I found about 15. The size is is pretty good. You can make it smaller too. Um, Again, the smaller you make it, though, the more, uh, let's say, less resilient it will be. So, again, I found 15 pretty good. The length is this top dimension, so you can make it shorter, or you can make it a lot longer. And it's up to you how you want it. So, um, again, about 20 I found is pretty good. And so... That typically works. Now, barrel sides, this is the neat part. So we can go down to four, which basically makes this a square, uh, which is kind of cool. And you see a little Easter egg up at up the top, the way the um, I've got it programmed. It kind of comes out with this weird artifact. I don't know if it'll actually print. Uh, it, it might because the slopes aren't too bad, but the way I handle the top with the sphere anyways or you can kick this all the way out to a hundred and you know it rounds it off very nice and so you can have a rounded version now one of the things I had to do is put this spline in the back of it because this this was ending up too thin for um, uh, you, you know most prints and so it was snapping off so I added this and it's added a nice amount of rigidity and it actually looks kind of cool if you have maybe some suggestions for this um, you know let me know in the comments below and, and again I just I just taper this um, uh, you know triangular you know shape so again it's meant to distribute the force over the length and it actually does a pretty good job uh, clip thickness so again um, you can adjust the thickness of the clip so if you want it thicker you can hey make it thicker and it, it, it begins as you can see to start wrapping around whoops I need to turn it the other way so you can see it and so you can see it starts wrapping and, and also it it starts taking away the distance here that you have so again I found five pretty much works the best um, and then you can the clip length so you can make it rather short short and stubby or you make it long like this 
all the way up to you depending on what you would like um, and again I can see different purposes for diff different lengths around 20 is usually pretty good 20 to 40 is, 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 is ample um, it does seem to work good so anyways um, Let's go watch a time lapse of this being printed on the Wanhao, and then I'm also going to try printing it on the Da Vinci, and let's see what we come up with. So, time lapse. Okay, welcome back after this time lapse. Well, this is what we got out of the Da Vinci for the, um, yeah, for the uh, Apple Pencil. That did not work well. Not quite sure what <laughs> happened. But again, I want to show you guys the failures as well as the successes, and that's, uh, ooh, wow. I don't even know what to call that, so, uh, Anyways, um, I don't know. It, it did print out on the Wan Hao, so um, that's not the model. So I, I may try reducing the infill and give this a run again. So let's go see what happens with that. Well, we tried it a second time with some different settings on the same model, and as you can see, the Da Vinci still was not capable of printing this, so I'm not quite sure what's going on here. I'm going to have to dig into this a little bit more, so um, I guess we're just going to have to roll without an ABS version of this and just uh, uh, go with a PLA version and see how it goes. So here we are back again. So. Uh... <clears throat> We actually had to make some modifications to this because the original version uh, was much thinner. So you can probably see here that went on there, and that, that broke off pretty darn quick. So um, we did away with that. So what I did is in SCAD, uh, Open SCAD, is uh, built up a ridge here. Now I printed this out in PLA, and it did pretty good until it got to this end, and then it started to. Um, kind of like with the rocket ship I showed in a prior video, not do so well, which actually is disappointing. However, the whole design is actually pretty interesting. need to clean it up a little bit more, but I wanted to get through this video. Now, uh, <clears throat> I gave it a number of tries on the Da Vinci. That's what I got out of the Da Vinci on this model. Uh, now, I printed this. Now, I, I did, I should go back to this for a second. I did look on the Da Vinci and I don't know, Slicer, the, the, the DaVinci XYZ Slicer, it just seems to have a problem with it. Now, I tr actually tried a couple versions of Slicer. It just couldn't deal with this model for some reason. I am going to try to take the model and run it through NetFab and see if that does anything, although it doesn't complain about it not being manifold when I print it on Cura. I mean, I, I printed this a couple different times, you know, a couple different test prints, and I have not had a problem at all with this, so... I'm going to try this uh, actually in PET G and see if I don't uh, avoid some of this this problem because I think one of the problems with this is it's simply getting too hot when it gets to this end. So I'm going to try with the PET G um, to see and then also I'm hoping it's a little bit more uh, resilient structure. However, the with the um, and I'm not sure if you can see it here. You can see the gap in the, in the pen. So that's actually pretty good. It fits in a shirt pocket well. It fits, you know, between the buttons of a shirt and really is nice. And when you lay it down, the pen doesn't roll off the table. That drives me nuts because if you lay it down. Now, what I did is I printed this with six. This is printed with six corners. So you can kind of see the look here. Get a little bit closer. So, uh, again, very happy with it. So 
hey, uh, the link will be below. If you have one of these, go make it. Tell me what you think. Uh, tell me how I can improvement, improve it. I am going to keep working on this. i got a couple other ideas uh, with improving it. I would really like to have something in the top here, but since I print it, since it gets printed like that on the printer, having some rounded or relieved corners just uh, will make it appear to print. So anyways, uh, hey, if you found this uh, interesting and you have one of these, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, a lot more coming. Cheers. And subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.